Welcome back to Sports Corner. I'm here with an absolute legend, George K. You all remember him from his K2 days, 38 years with K2. Now he's been retired 15 years in this beautiful facility in Douglas. I almost want to move in here. But, George, what is your health like? Because I know a lot of people are concerned. Well, it's, uh, it's good. I uh, still haven't uh, mastered the game of tennis, but I, I try, and uh, it's, I'm blessed with uh, good health overall. Well, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be very happy to hear that. And it's just so cool for me as the current K2 sportscaster to sit down with the former. And, George, 48 years in broadcast, what made you want to continue you know year after year i know you've been a broadcaster in minnesota wisconsin and also wyoming yeah well i was just lazy i think and uh, didn't want to get a job where i had to actually do some physical labor so uh, broadcasting was a good good place to stop and so other than the physical labor of holding a microphone which is getting tougher and tougher by the second what other things about broadcast did you enjoy for almost 50 years? Well, I really enjoyed the fact that uh, at K2, we were uh, involved in University of Wyoming sports. And that was uh, a big thing because everybody in the state uh, bought into the Cowboys. And, uh, and it gave us an opportunity to not only travel, but to uh, play against some really good good teams around the country and you chose to stay in casper for almost 40 years between k2 radio and k2 tv and i'm sure you had other opportunities to move around but what about casper and wyoming in addition to the cowboys made you want to stay here for so long well i think just the atmosphere people were so genuine and uh, warm and friendly and uh, when we made mistakes they forgave us and it was an ideal situation for someone like me. I can say the exact same. Those mistakes on live television are unforgiving, but the people are forgiving. And so what was your philosophy going into work every day? Because we both know it's a responsibility to bring the sports to the people. Well, that was it. And there weren't uh, many stations in Wyoming, so uh, we... I always figured we had to concentrate on the Cowboys, basically, because that was our our big-time team. And whatever we did with the Cowboys was accepted, even if it wasn't uh, smooth and professional in nature. That would describe me to a T as well. George, I know you talk about the Wyoming football very fondly because you actually did broadcast the games in addition to Wyoming basketball back in the day. And I had the pleasure of doing that this season just to look out over that field, War Memorial, and I know it's a lot different from when you were broadcasting the games. I described the scene of the fans as Dijon mustard because it's yellow and brown and you get that mixture. How would you describe the scene when you were looking out over it? Well, that's about the uh, the best description I've heard. Yeah, it was it was beautiful because we had uh, so much brown, especially because that was our color, and uh, just uh, a wonderful atmosphere and a, a lot of enthusiasm. That was our team because they were the only four-year school at. Uh, we could follow and we loved them win or lose yeah you can definitely feel that throughout the entire state so if somebody was just trying to get started in broadcast somebody like myself or a little newer to the game what advice would you give them as far as their presentation and the way to you know excite people about sports i think mostly honesty would be the uh, policy to follow and your audience will uh follow you and and be loyal to you if you're if they can depend on you telling them the truth most of the time we could fibble now a little bit but uh, not much yeah guy goes three for 17 passing and you say well he did all right you know he had a couple couple of, uh, good completions yeah. so uh now george what do you think about the impact that you had sports wise on the people of the area and how you'd sum up your time with k2 
Well, I think I was just blessed with uh, wonderful folks that watched and uh, weren't too critical because we made a lot of mistakes. But uh, they forgave us, and it was just a, an ideal situation to be in. Now, I just mentioned uh, a little earlier that you've been retired for 15 years. November 30th, 2004, and K2 probably hasn't been the same since. But now you're in this facility with the fireplace going. we got a little studio audience here and the theater in the back. What are some of the retirement activities that you're doing? Well, I, it's, it's great to be retired and be physically able to do things. Uh, I try to play a little tennis, and uh, I never was a golfer, so I... I don't do that, but I love to uh, walk and uh, love to uh, eat, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just a, a great situation to be in. Well, George, thank you so much for taking the time to give a little advice to the new guy, and it's an honor to hold the same position that you did. Well, thanks very much, and we really enjoy your work, and uh, we know you're only going up. And that's nice. Well, George, I appreciate it. And if you know K2, you probably know K2. George K., thanks for spending the time. And we'll be right back with some more Sports Corner in just a moment.